government's policies Can't do much about the heresies Can't do too much to stop the squeeze on society When you're all out of touch you can't have much to say We have government broadcasting through the ABC and special broadcasting services. We have the commercial stations and public broadcasting, which is community group based, is the third leg. As our local minister, uh, hopefully we can ask you to, on our behalf, uh, help us with our campaign for public TV. What's the Liberal Party's thoughts on public TV? Well, look, I think it's a great idea, and we ought to be encouraging, you know, much greater diversity and choice. I say to you that I believe that it is important that we have as much diversity as possible in the whole area of communication. We are coming and to officially announce the opening of Channel 31 in Melbourne, MCT 31. All commercial and national stations were given the spectrum and support to commence digital simulcasts. What a mess for SBS! I've just been given some beautiful water. Here it is! And ladies and gentlemen, there it is! Congratulate Channel 31! Unfortunately, community television was left marooned on analogue. One of the great arguments that I had with my department when I first inherited this job was the belief that community TV should just basically go online. We should just not bother allocating any spectrum, and we rejected that. And in an age where diversity, as you just got to read the newspapers, the Sydney Morning Age, as it's almost becoming. Uh, so, Annie, did you find it hard at all breaking into comedy as a chick, I mean? I mean, Dave, it's really interesting you ask Because, I mean, g generally speaking, uh, you chicks aren't really as funny as us blokes. Are you wearing any underwear underneath that suit? <laughs> and that's why you are so important in maintaining and improving on that diversity. Emma Hawkins, you are... You are a tap-dancing, stilt-walking acrobat? Yes. Tap dancing, yes. still walking acrobat. Yeah. Where do you do that? Last week I was flipping through the channels mm. and on one channel you see the Iran election and uh, all of the mayhem and death that came after it. Then you turn the channel and you see Malcolm Turnbull just having a bit of a cat fight with Kevin Rudd. Mm. Well look, I uh, take the, um, the somewhat controversial view that the elections in Iran were legitimate and the opposition <laughs> should just back off. Comment, one of my favourite comments from Brendan Nelson. That's an amazing quote. Um, we don't care where you've come from or what you believe, but when you come to Australia, we expect you to accept these values. <laughs> I don't care what you believe, as long as it's this. These programs are reaching up to 1.5 million people every month, and I know that your presence on digital television will only increase those viewing figures and allow them to continue to grow. It's important that we correctly analyse what's going on here. It's important that we have a good understanding of history, the history that has led into where we are today. So that, you know what, guys? It's time to get, get busy. busy. and welcome to part two of our 20 years of Channel 31 special. Channel 31 sent out its first broadcast way back on October 1st, 1994. Last week we helped commemorate by taking you on a guided tour through the last two decades of community television. But one hour just isn't enough. Our editors have spent weeks slaving over computers, plugging in countless hard drives, filtering through thousands of hours of footage. So tonight, Isabel, Stephen, Caitlin, Anthony and I will be presenting more of your community television history. 
Hang on a second. Where is Anthony? Oh, <laughs> so, sorry I'm late guys. Hey, how are you? I was just reading through the comments section on the post for last week's show. It seems not everyone is as excited as we are about celebrating community TV. For example, here's one from Reginald, who protested, I for one applaud Turnbull's decision. About time my tax dollars stop being spent on this rubbish. Hang on a minute. I don't think that Channel 31 gets any tax dollars. The government doesn't give us a single cent. We're self-funded, right? Exactly. Well, then, then why is the government looking to force community TV stations like this one off the air? Mm, it's simple. They can make a quick buck selling the license to broadcast to the next highest bidder, likely a seventh shopping network, effectively selling off a public resource that enriches the lives of millions of Australians in favour of a few really effective and quite affordably priced vacuum cleaners. <laughs> but people love Channel 31. They may not always watch us, but they certainly love us. Media diversity, student access, multicultural representation, grassroots sporting involvement, industry experience and content generated by and for the community. Who wouldn't love that? I think Mr Turnbull has a fight on his hands.